hey guys um the new repack for ac web um just came out like two days ago i think and i thought i would share it with you guys since it's a really good repack um okay this supports 3.3.2 it's arkimu revision 3165 ydb revision 100 and it has it has pretty much all the same features as the other repacks of AC Web, and it's really easy to set up. So yeah, before you do anything, you're gonna want to download Net Framework 3.5, which is right here. Uh, I'll put this link in the description. And this download, I'm pretty sure it will take a while, depends on the computer that you have. So yeah, make sure to be patient. I already have it. Okay, now you're going to want to download it right here. I'll also post this link in the description of the video. And just download it. I already have it right here. This should also take a little while, depends on your computer. Okay. Uh, when it's done just open it run and don't change anything right here make sure it still says C then the two dots and forward slash AC web ultimate repack then just click on install and, sh and it should install I already have it too then once you're done once it's done it should be in computer go to my computer local disk and look for AC Web Ultimate Repack folder. Open it and go to Tools, Map Extractor, and put these two, select these two, copy them, and go to Computer, Local Disk. And it depends on where you save your World of Warcraft folder. Mine is right here on the Local Disk. Yours is probably in pro Program Files or somewhere else. But just go to your World of Warcraft folder and paste it on there. Then go to Add and double click it. This is going to take maybe from, it could take anywhere from 5 to like an hour. Depends on your computer speed again. Then this should Add should close out automatically. And then in your math folder, you should see a bunch of files. And then once you've done that, copy your your math folder once it's filled with all those files. Then go back to your AC Web Ultimate Repack folder and paste it in the Archimu folder. And yeah, now. Now we're gonna just start up the server first by go to server my startup MySQL If you have any problems with MySQL just post but it should usually be because um you have another MySQL running in the background so try to go to task manager and go to either services or processes and and look for MySQL and just end it you could right click and stop service or end process and that should fix the problem and Apache you could start it if you want but this is just for the website now go to your Archimu folder and start up logon server and world you shouldn't get any problem with this as long as mysql looks like this and you don't have any errors and yeah that's pretty much it now um, if you want to create accounts just simply just go to google and search for hadsql or navicat lite i will post both the links in the description I already have it downloaded and once you've done that I'm using HDSQL so if you want you could download HDSQL once you've done that just open HDSQL and for this click on new 
um, just name it anything you want. Hold on. Just name it anything you want. Just name it test. And you should you see all this stuff pop up. Now the password. You're gonna want to go to the configs folder in Archimu. So AC Web Re Ultimate Repack then Archimu, then configs. Open up logon dot con that C O N F with Notepad. And right here, where it says logon database hostname, you should find all your info that you need. So password is ascent. So just simply type ascent, and then just leave this right here. Don't don't change anything, and put save and connect. Now you're gonna wanna uh, go to logon right here, then go to accounts. So logon, then accounts. Double click that. And this tab right here, data. And you're gonna want to make a if you want to make a new account, just go to this little plus sign up here. The login, right here. You don't have to change that. The login. This is this is gonna be the username. So I'm just gonna put test one two three. Password test one two three. Encrypted password. Just leave. And for GM, um, I'm not sure if it's still the same, but I think it's still like AZ, type AZ for admin, and just type A for GM privileges. So I'm just going to type AZ. The la just leave all this as default. And for flags, you're going to want to change either, I think it's eight for um burning crusade zero for um for just regular world of warcraft and twenty four for burning for wrath of the lich king and then once you've done that simply just click this check mark right here and yeah the account should be added into your database once you've done that, you can log in with the account and mess around. Mm, that's pretty much it. If you want, you could have this restarter on, so just in case that your um your your logon server and world crashes, the um, the restarter will just restart them automatically. Just click start and start, and they should start up. If they crash, they'll start up back automatically and I think that's it mm. there's a website right here too if you go to server htdocs and go to configuration.php open that with notepad if you scroll down far enough you'll find this right here it says the money sign and mos config live site where it says HTTP localhost change localhost either to your Hamachi IP or DNS hostname if you don't know what I'm talking about you can check out my other videos on how to make your server public and just change it to that right here let me see if the site works Yeah, this is the website right here, as you can see. It has home, news, links, account creation. And the admin panel is just your domain name. And then slash admin administration. Oops. Oh, no. Wait. Well, anyways, yeah. Um, There's more info on the site right here on README. Open it with Notepad. And scroll down to website. And it tells you what to do if you want to if you want to change your website domain. And just to tell you guys, this isn't the most stable repack, but it does work. It does have tier 10. Um, I'm not sure about season 8, but I'll just post this thread on AC Web in the link in the description, so you guys can read for yourselves. And yeah, that's it.
Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make a 3.3.2 private server. Um, I hope there was no problem with this repack or with this setup. And yeah.